Welcome to At Home with Giselle. I'm Giselle. They say that the best offense is a good defense. At least that's what people that know things about sports seem to say. Well, Equinix has partnered with Akamai to help defend against DDoS attacks before they begin. Many of the Akamai scrubbing centers are hosted on platform Equinix, which is strategically located between business data centers and the cloud. What this does is reduce latency of that clean traffic for the businesses and also makes it more cost effective than sending that same traffic over a private network. This week, Mitel has announced that they're going to make their MyCloud Flex product available on the Google Cloud platform. This allows them to better serve mid-market and enterprise customers through enhanced APIs to third-party applications and the ability to layer in collaboration tools enhanced by Google AI. I just keep waiting for them to announce that they're going to mass produce my Rhinestone IP655 phone. Wondering what dating will look like if we continue to be socially distant? Kippo has raised $2 million for a dating app for gamers. It features an interactive profile builder tool that allows users to highlight their personality. They then go on virtual dates and play video games with other users that have similar interests. The platform has gained 45,000 users without any real promotion. I wish my channel had 45,000 subscribers without any real promotion. Over the past few weeks, we've talked a lot about Equinix, and I've realized that a lot of viewers don't really know what Equinix is or what Equinix does, and that needs to change. So I thought what a better way to introduce our viewers to Equinix than to bring on the gentleman who showed me what it was all about, Chad Arnold. Chad, since you do such a great job of it, can you please explain in layman's terms, what is Equinix? I guess for the layperson, I would describe Equinix in terms of what we're doing for customers. Um, as an application acceleration engine. That's one way to look at it. Um, you kind of think about why that is. We are physically, yes, we're a data center operator and our buildings globally represent the intersections of the internet. But what that's delivering for customers is the ability to consume the applications that they care about in much closer proximity to where the users are. Um, and so, our physical locations are allowing customers to accelerate how they consume op, uh, applications and also the user experience that is that is uh, delivered whenever they're consuming things in the cloud or things that are SaaS platforms that are mission critical to the business. And what type of companies use Equinix? The verticals that we serve, it literally, it, it cuts across all verticals. We support every single type of customer in the world. And I think it's interesting because even when I first started at Equinix, obviously some of our biggest customers are the networks, the service providers, and certainly the clouds. Um, but recently we've begun working with every, you know, oil and gas and mining and manufacturing and customer in the world. The, the concepts cut through a, a cut across, cut across their verticals. Chad, what inspired you to work for Equinix and what is your favorite thing about being part of the company? So before joining Equinix, it was my job to be able to help consultants understand which type of supplier should they be bringing into a specific opportunity to, to solve a problem. And as I kind of unpacked who did what across every carrier, every data center, every cloud and UCAS platform imaginable, what I found the common denominator was, was Equinix. At the core of all these networks and all these clouds and all these SaaS platforms, Equinix enabled every single one of them. So that's what drew me to Equinix, was the fact that Equinix powers the digital ecosystem. And it's the things that we do, and that in partnership with all these organizations to deliver real solutions that provide unique uh, opportunities, uh, that's, what, that's what keeps me excited here. We all know that nobody likes watching training videos, but a couple of years ago, you did an Equinix training video that went a little bit viral with thousands of views. Um, how does it feel to be a little bit internet famous in that aspect? I, I honestly, I've always laughed about that a little bit. It's just us doing our J-O-B over here, just trying to articulate the, the, the value that Equinix offers. But I think it's, if it helped anyone out there, that's, that's flattering. Um, I think the reality is everyone that is here or works with our partnerships uh, has, has a unique vantage point. And to be able to just simply put it on a platform to highlight why it's important to them, that's, that's kind of where that came from. But I'm glad it helped some folks out there, yeah. 
Last question, what are you and your family doing to keep occupied during lockdown? Within the the the, the four, eight, eight by eight square foot walls that we have here, um, we're, you know, we're doing a lot more uh, yard games, a lot of uh, things that we didn't know were, were possible in the backyard. And uh, I would say just a lot of a lot more Netflix. And if there's, <laughs> there's a lot of content out there in the evenings. And Netflix, of course, an Equinix customer. Uh, what is it that you're currently watching? Uh, current show, you know, we just we just burned through Succession. If you haven't watched Succession, that was a uh, that was a good one. Thanks, Chad, for that great information and for the ideas on what I might try doing this weekend. That's it for today's At Home with Giselle. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.